We are having breakfast now at Nyati Safari Camp and look at the variety we have got. Mm. And there's coffee and tea. Hi Helena. Good morning. Good morning. So what's the plan today, Shish? We are going to go on a full day game drive in Ambuseli National Park. And we are expected to see lots of elephants today. So we are back in the safari van. And Here's our guide, Mr. Bonfis. Morning. Hello. So they have just popped up the the roof, and now it's ready to go. Yes, yes. Hello, ma. Amboseli National Park. The name Amboseli means it's a Maasai word, meaning a place of salty dust. This is a semi-desert, receiving very little rainfall. So most of the time of the year is very dry, and this vegetation dries off completely. And what remains is only bare sand with a lot of dust and the umbrella acacia trees, those ones do not die. But as you can see now, we have grass all over, so animals are scattered. We will look for it. Consists of how many females? The, okay, they the are mixed from babies to it's an extended family. Okay, mothers, cousins, with brothers. Okay. There might also be young males. So you could almost say elephants are not patriarchal but matriarchal. Right? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I never knew that. Did you know? Yeah. These animals do not forget. They have good memory, like uh, men, like like human beings. So they don't forget. Uh, they don't forget what happened in their whole life. If there is no food, there is no grass in Amboseli, the older one will recognize and will recall where they went some years back to look for food. And they will lead the others to that place. Like from here to South West, there is one that went there. So it will lead the others. And this is what is bringing now the uh, conflict, the human-animal conflict, because it will lead the others to go to southwest, but as they go, they find where they used to pass. It's now a farmland. down there, spend the day in the swamps, eating, playing with the water, and then in the evening we shall see them getting out and going home. They don't spend the night in the swamps because during the night the swamps are very cold. 
So they move away to the mountains. Bones. They live in area, in dry areas. You can see they are not big as those ones. Yeah. Uh, and they are very hairy. <laughs> mm -hmm. These swamps provide water and the grass throughout the here. The, the swamps are a kind of a springs, you know the springs that sprout in the desert. So these springs sprout here. Water from the mountain passes down underground under some porous rocks. Then it comes to sprout in Amboseli in the form of those springs. And this is what provides food here. <laughs>
we have to hike to the top so that we can have our lunch. Because you feel more hungry that Our way. could have just come up to here. No, it's not. We just finished lunch and we came out to look at this view and the funniest thing we have been <laughs> going after the elephants all day long and right now the elephants have come by the parking lot. Oh look what we found! <laughs> Which is the dry lake, but now it's not dry. Lake Aposeli is seasonal, so during the rain it's full of water. After like three months, it is completely dry. We even drive inside the lake. Oh, fat one. That's a hippo baby. I would say every hippo. A chubby <laughs> round one. Oh, there's a baby hippo behind it. Yeah, I see something behind it. There's a tiny baby hippo there. We just came back to our camp and we came out to watch the sunset and look at this view. That's Mount Kilimanjaro. So the entire day yesterday and today till evening we could not see this mountain. It's called the Shai mountain because it rarely comes out of the clouds and is visible. But it's so cool that we, it's finally out and we get to see it. So this mountain is actually uh, about 5800 meters or so above sea level. So it's the highest peak in Africa. Many people would love to come and see this in person and there are quite a few people who actually go climbing this mountain. Yeah. So it's really cool to actually be at the foot of the highest mountain in Africa. Of course, it's on the other side where Tanzania begins. However, the best view of this mountain is actually on the Kenyan side. And it's so cool that the national park is just three kilometers away. And we also got to experience living in this real cool tent. 
We just want to say another thanks to Baboon Budget Safari because if, if they hadn't invited us to come check out this place, we probably would have missed it. And I must say, if you're on a budget and you still want to experience safari, this is one of the best places to come. The entry tickets are a lot cheaper than the Masai Mara entry ticket. And you also get to do a full day game drive inside the park and see so many incredible animals. The highlight of them being African elephants. The highest number in the whole country are right here. About 100 families or 1,000 yeah. elephants as uh, our driver Boniface told us today. We also wanted to thank everybody who made a big difference on our Buy Me A Coffee page. Only because of that we were able to do Masai Mara. Otherwise we would not have even yeah. dreamt of that. <laughs> so thank you so much for making it happen. And um, right now we are heading into the kitchen because it's dinner time. Dinner time! <laughs> you, you see Shish has picked up a new thing. Uh, ever since we went to the Masai village, Shish has begun to jump a lot more for everything. Yeah. Because this is the first time in our life we have done something like a group tour for five days but we don't have to think about anything because food, transport, stay, <laughs> yeah. sightseeing, everything is planned so we're literally not thinking and it feels so good. I guess once in a while it's nice to do something like this. You want to sit? Me? You want to sit? I will. And which is your favorite animal? Which is your favorite animal? What? Yeah. Yeah. Just time for Hi, Anita. Hi. The lunch was very good, thank you. Oh, mine, everybody was very jealous of mine. <laughs> yeah, I took all the fries. Really? <laughs> the Anita. Hi, Anita. Oh, hi. So, she's been like taking excellent care of us here at uh, Nyati Safari Camp. So, if you're here, Definitely look for her. Oh. She makes secret menus that she will send through lunch, you know, when you're out on safari. Uh, dinner time and we have soup, beef broth soup, we have mashed potatoes, we have rice, we have beef stew, we have chapati, we have lentils, we have cabbage and we have vegetables. And also some fruit salad. <laughs> and at the last we're gonna have hot chocolate. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Oh, very nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guys, so, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Boniface. Yeah, you did the rest of the time you spent in Kenya. Yeah. Thank and so all the safari that you are doing. Yeah. Yeah, it was a pleasure to meet you. Well, yeah. Cool. And also to travel with me. <laughs> of course. Yeah. So what time? It was our first time doing a safari and it was very wonderful. Yeah.